Welcome to the video. This is the Viltrox 20mm f2.8 full frame lens for the Sony E mount system. This is the Sony ZV E1 without any lens. If we put this on, we could see, look at how small that looks. This is a, such a small, lightweight setup now. And remember, this sensor is basically the same sensor out of the FX3 and the A7S3. So to get the quality, the low light, to get a full frame sensor with an f2.8 aperture in this tiny, tiny package is absolutely great. So there's three reasons I bought this lens. Number one is price, number two is size and weight, and number three is because it is an f2.8 aperture. Up until I heard about this lens, and shout out to Mark Bennett because that's where I heard about this lens and I saw it and researched it and it just, Awesome, Mark, thanks so much if you're watching. My vlogging lens was the 16 to 35 F4 power zoom. Now this is only an F4, but at 16 millimeters when you're holding it, pointing it at yourself with active stabilization turned on, it's still super wide. It gets you about an 18 or 19 millimeter real world width, real world focal length. And I was able to hold it like this close. I was able to get it almost right in my face. Absolutely loved the functionality of this lens. Didn't really care too much for the zoom, but I did have some fun with just zooming into 35, getting more shots when I'm out there and actually vlogging. By the way, I actually go out and vlog. I live in New York City, if you haven't seen, and I actually go out and use my equipment to go out and vlog. So this was my vlogging setup. It was absolutely great. Still really enjoy this lens. And last couple of times, I just used the little furry windscreen to put on top of the ZV E1 just because I found the microphone was actually good enough. And as long as you're not in a super loud environment, this is f totally fine. I'd rather do this than have to connect a microphone every single time. This just makes the camera a lot more convenient to pull in and out of a bag when you're just running and gunning vlogging. But this was my vlog setup. But as you can see, it is still, it's a pretty long lens. And again, this is only an F4. Now, if I wanted to go any lower than F4, I do have this lens, which is the 20 millimeter F1.8. This is a great lens because I can throw it on, well, this is not the camera. This lens is still pretty big. Both of these lenses are like the size of a small coffee cup. And I come from a, I come from the world of compact cameras. I come from the ZV-1, the ZV-1 Mark II. I come from, you know, the DJI Osmo Action 4. Most of the time, a lot of times lately, I've just been using my phone to do vlogs. This is the ultimate pocket computer. You can fit it in any pocket. It's just quick to hide away in a pocket, super easy. So these lenses, they're just really big for what they are. So that's where the Viltrox 20 millimeter F2.8 came in because if we compare it to the Sony, 20 mil f 1.8 this is half the size yes you get f 1.8 here so you can really blow out the background but f 2.8 is still pretty decent you can still decently blow out that background and finally we have to talk about price this lens twelve hundred dollars this lens nine hundred dollars this camera twenty two hundred dollars so twenty two hundred dollars plus nine hundred dollars this is a thirty one hundred dollars setup we add a microphone like the ECM-B10, we're talking $33, $3,500 to go walk around New York City. But if I actually, remember, I don't always vlog with this lens. I don't always need that F1.8 when I'm out and about in the real world. And especially if it's not super dark, but even if it is, it doesn't matter. This is my predominant vlogging setup with this camera, right? The ZV-E1 with the F4 16 to 35 power zoom, PZ, whatever, I don't, whatever it is. The 16 to 35 F4 PZ. This is pretty lightweight, but $2,200 camera, $1,200 lens. Let's say you get it on sale for a thousand bucks. This still, this is over a $3,000 setup. This is a lot to be filming in the subway, filming in the streets in New York. I never liked taking this camera out. I always put it in my backpack before taking the subway, even though I'd, I'm okay riding the subway. I, I, pretty much know how to stay safe most of the time in the subway. But that's why I always just filmed on my phone because it's just so much easier to be discreet. I film like this. Sometimes I just keep the phone like that as I'm walking. It's just easier. Plus everyone has a phone nowadays. So these lenses are just, makes the package just a lot more expensive. Now where Viltrox comes in is this lens, $167. We put this lens on here, 
Now the camera is under $2,500. I'd feel a lot more comfortable taking this out and filming some B-roll shots when I'm in an underground subway station in Manhattan in New York City because it's just such a small, more discreet setup. It's definitely a lot more lightweight, easier for someone like me who's going to the gym three or four times a week doing full body workouts. My, so my shoulder gets pretty sore. So overall, really excited with this lens. That's enough talk. Let's take it out and see what it's made of. All right, Viltrox 20 mil F2.8. This is a vlog test. We are, it might be about a, maybe about a foot from my face. This is as right, I'm right in my face right now. And it is plenty wide. I gotta say, it's super lightweight too. It's probably easy to switch hands. Very easy, super. Look at how wide that is. Wow, I forgot how wide a 20 mil is. You know what it is though? Can you, can you tell why it's so wide? Here. Now we're on active stabilization. So we were on standard stabilization before. I find that the standard stabilization in this camera is actually decent enough because now I gotta hold it a bit further out. But there's the standard stabilization. So this is super wide. This is, this is gonna be a great, great vlogging lens. This, this camera is just super lightweight right now. But you let me know how everything looks. How's the background blur? We are actually at F4. So now we're all the way down at F2.8. You can probably tell the background is a lot more blurred out. But overall, I'm really excited about this lens. I can switch hands really easily. Get a good shoulder workout on each of them. Yeah, Velotrox. Awesome. Look at that image coming out of the lens. I kicked it on active stabilization because I find that the standard stabilization isn't that good when walking. But yeah, this is what a vlogging lens should be. Similar to Sony's 11 1.8, but that's an APS-C lens. This is, a, this is a full frame lens. Got a full frame camera, got to use a full frame lens. And now just to show you, this is the whole setup right here. Super lightweight. And we could even fit it in my pocket if I want to, but the wind muffler fell off. I wouldn't do that, but super compact, super lightweight. Absolutely love it. So overall, I am really impressed with this Viltrox 20 millimeter prime lens. I think this is what vlogging lenses and vlogging cameras should be. Small, compact, lightweight, and not over the top expensive. So every time I leave the house, this is gonna be the lens that is on the camera. This is gonna be the vlogging lens. I definitely think that it is wide enough. And with the Sony ZV1, ZV-E1, sorry, you can clear image zoom up to two times. So pretty much this is like a 20 to 40 millimeter lens with that clear image zoom. Build quality, nothing too crazy here. It's pretty bare bones. It feels like it's plastic. And we don't get an aperture ring like we do on the Sony G lenses, the 20 millimeter 1.8 or the 16, 35 zoom lens right here, but not really a huge deal. I just was adjusting the aperture over here. So that has been my first impression of the Viltrox 20 f2.8 prime lens. Overall, I'm really impressed with it. I'm excited to get out there and vlog with this lens. It's just gonna keep it a lot easier and a lot more discreet. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it helped, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.